Joey's Talented Tuesday. All right, so uh, let me ask real fast, who we got here? Like, uh, how'd you guys hear about this show? We gotta introduce you. Right. Really? Yeah. Y'all know him? Yeah. <laughs> this is a very diverse crowd. I just don't take Brother Mar as the uh, diverse type, if you catch my drift. <laughs> you said, you know who? Know Alan. Alan. You know Alan? Yeah. What are you? I'm white. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Italian or something. You got the, oh, Jewish, okay. You got the DJ here. This is the blackest this place has ever been. You know that, right? They don't never bring people up to, to fucking music. Like, y'all done played My Nigga, My Nigga. These white people ain't never heard that shit. Oh my God, who made that song? But thanks for playing it anyway. Shit, what's going on in here? All right, fuck it. <laughs> That means not a goddamn thing. <laughs> I just got to scope out the room and whatnot, man. See who all out here. We got beautiful ladies over here. Whoa. White that's lady. Is it? Who said that? Oh, it's Mars, girl. I forgot. How you doing? You just like, you like the UN. Like, you know white people. You dating a white lady. You got fucking Arabs in here and everything. <laughs> that's amazing, man. I was out in Baker's yesterday. Anybody fuck around in Detroit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I was out in Vegas yesterday, man. Vegas was full of women, just beautiful women. I'm so tired of pretty bitches. Because <laughs> they think they run the world, man. Sometimes you just got to tell a girl, like, bitch, you ain't all that, all right? <laughs> you know, it's like three billion other pussies out here. You just have to be attached to a pretty face. I'll be all right if you, uh... <laughs> Just don't think you the shit. You know, like, pretty girls give you all type of shit. That's why I like to date ugly girls, because you ain't got to go through all that shit, man. I'm telling you, all the guys, if you want to live a happy life where don't nobody question you, don't know nothing, just just date an ugly bitch, man. I'm telling you. She's going to give you no problem. Because you ain't got to do pretty girl shit with ugly girls. Like, you know, you can't watch no pretty movies with no ugly chick. You got to... You got to watch ugly movie. You can't watch no fucking Best Man Holiday. Bitch, sit here and learn how awnings were made. Watch this documentary. <laughs> I'm about to watch Titanic with you ugly hoe. You better watch the Hitler special. I'm gonna <laughs> Cause she ugly, you know? You ain't got to buy all that expensive, exotic, pretty ass foods, chocolate and strawberries. Bitch, I just made a pot of chitlins. Go crazy. <laughs> Cause you ugly. Ugly girls got to eat ugly food. <laughs> Pretty girls, man, they just too much. They ask you where you been all the time. Ugly girls ain't gonna ask you. They just happy that you there now. Nah, don't give a fuck. <laughs> I wish an ugly girl would ask me where I've been. Where you been? Bitch, try to get the courage to look at your ugly ass. <laughs> where I've been? Don't worry about it, troll. Get back in the cave, bitch. <laughs> where you been? Don't just don't date pretty girls, man. It'd be a lot, you know, it'd be a great hassle off of you. Like, here's the other thing I don't like to mess with. Uh hood rats. Okay. To the uh to the white half in here. Hood rats. Hood rats is the white equivalent to trailer trash. And here's the problem, man, they fuck your life up, man. It just it's just terrible. Like, you think, because here's the thing, they be pretty, but they low maintenance. You know, like, they're impressed with, <laughs> they're impressed with regular shit. Like, you know your daddy? Like, bitch, yeah, I do. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Oh, this is nature. What you mean this is nature? I take two. I know both of them. <laughs> they be impressed with little shit. But here's the problem, man. <laughs> The problem is that they just mess your whole life up. Like, the hood rats is bad. Look, here's how you know that you're dealing with a hood rat. If you go over a girl's house and she got multiple rest in peace shirts in her closet, <laughs> it gives a hood rat and bad luck. You about to die. You about to die.
This is gonna touch some people, but I don't give a fuck. Here's how you know that you're a hood rat, or a girl you know is a hood rat. If a girl is too familiar with the abortion clinic, that's a hood rat. You should never be going in there like, y'all got new Drake? Bitch, how often are you there? You should be going in the abortion clinic fucking pulling out a punch card. This ain't no car wash, ho. This is... This is do twins count as two? Bitch, what? <laughs> you got no dead babies under your belt and your dumb little boyfriend got killed. Bitch, what's wrong with you? I hope all the babies come back and hunt your ass, bitch, like fucking ghosts. I could have been somebody, mama. <laughs> Ghostbusters lock your ass up. That's not funny. Yes, it is, fuck <laughs> Fuck hood rats, man. That's how I feel. But look, you got a choice, goddammit. Just because you born in the hood don't mean you got to be a goddamn rat. That's just ridiculous. Like, some shit don't make no sense, man. Like, I see these girls, they be dealing with these guys, man, and stuff, and they act like they don't know they can really live this fucking ratatouille life. Like, bitch. <laughs> That's a life of ratness, ratatouille life. <laughs> I might have just mixed that up with a Disney movie, but whatever. <laughs> but you knew what the fuck was going on. You, you ain't stupid. You might be crazy, but you ain't dumb, ho. <laughs> Here's the thing, man. If you date a girl, or a girl, if you date a guy with his street name and his real name, bitch, that nigga sell dope, and you about to die. That's <laughs> you dating Seven Mile John John and acting surprised, bitch, what do you think he did? <laughs> This is what he do. He sell dope and kill people. Don't be surprised when he slap your ass, bitch. This is what you wanted. <laughs> if your boyfriend got any fucking adjectives or verbs in his goddamn name, your boyfriend named Murder Mook first to shoot, bitch, you about to die. <laughs> you are about to die. <laughs> every goddamn day. <laughs> What's wrong with lasagna? Oh, my mother make fine lasagna. But nope, you wanted the garlic butter. I hope it tastes good, bitch, because you're about to die. <laughs> mm. I bet it was tasty, wasn't it? With the shrimp and everything. That's your last meal, bitch. That's it. You are out of here. You forgot about his dope dealer. Enemies gonna kidnap your motherfucking ass. Now you in the back of a goddamn cutlass. That's your favorite car, too. That's the rat car, the cutlers and shit. <laughs> oh, let me out! Let me out! Nuh-uh, bitch! Ten bricks! That's what your life worth! <laughs> That's what he hold you ransom for. Ten bricks. Was it worth it, ho? Was it worth it? All throughout high school, I saw girls giving all this sweet, good loving to people who wasn't gonna be shit in high school. Fucking the basketball player, the football player. These motherfuckers ain't going pro. <laughs> Bitch, you know how much longer we got to live? This ain't. <laughs> you taking people because they got sweet clothes on. Nigga, his mama bought that. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Are you fucking retarded? He cute. He got a little mustache. A mustache, bitch? That's <laughs> you fucking niggas over mustaches? Like, <laughs> you the first one with a mustache. Are you for real, bitch? Get real, that's fucking stupid. He got a letterman jacket, that's it. He ain't got shit else from high school with a letterman jacket. I hope you wore it, bitch. <laughs> it's 20 years later, I hope you wore it, cause he didn't get a diploma, that's it. That's it. All he got is that goddamn letterman jacket. <laughs> stupid bitch. <laughs> I'm just venting, man. I, 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 had it, I had it hard in high school. Not really, it was just hard to see that shit. I was fine, you know, I was cool in high school. I didn't give a shit about nothing. I just went and did my work, went back home. But just seeing all these girls do all this silly shit, it was just ridiculous. Then I got out of high school, and I started finding about the Erica Badu type women, the Neo Soul, and I liked them, y'all like yeah. it, right? Woo! 
I like them. Only problem is, they ain't shit neither. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't shit neither. Them Eric about these fucking bitches, they just, they break up with you and write a poem about it. Like, that don't make me feel good. I don't know shit about that. And then they come in your life and they just change all your shit up, man. Just, you know, you just reworked your whole life. Like my apartment got all these earth tones in it and shit, all this brown. She just took all the lotion out of my goddamn house and just put cocoa butter and shea butter. Like, bitch, I like Jergens. What is all this shit? I smell the chocolate ball goddamn day. I'm about to get stung by a bee fucking with you. All my clothes got red, green, and black in it. Like, bitch, I ain't from Africa. What is this shit? I done grew my hair out and shit. I got goddamn natural and everything. I just started having a revolution. Are you going to leave me, bitch? You can't. <laughs> this will not be televised. Not this breakup. <laughs> like incense and shit. I got asthma. You want me to die? <laughs> I'm like, this is natural. Well, asthma natural too, and I'm about to die. <laughs> then the guys that them girls date just be fucking retarded. I'm so tired of these poet guys, man. These fucking dreadlocks changing their name and stupid shit. My name is Wisdom Conscious. Nigga, your name is Ty Tyrell. Your name ain't no conscious. <laughs> Wearing dreads and shit. These big ass beards, they talk to y'all boisterous like, like, brother. I ain't your brother, motherfucker. I don't know you. <laughs> brother, take that shit off. Look, you can keep that shit to yourself. You ain't getting my pussy wet. <laughs> Don't fuck them long beard guys, man. I don't even have no punch like that. Just don't do it. Anybody chin that got their muscle and pride punch women, so. <laughs> oh, shit, whatever. I like women. Women, y'all cool, man. I talk a lot of shit about pretty women, but that's just like, guys, man, and look, stick with me on this, all right? All right? All right, look, guys, you ever see a girl so fine? She make you understand rape. Wait, not saying you'll do it or nothing, but you just see her and go like, I get it now. It, it, it makes sense. Like, she is fine as shit. I wanna fuck her, she won't let me, but I'm stronger than her. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's illegal. Shit, goddamn it. Forgot about that. <laughs> Whatever. That joke only worked in this type of audience, man. You got in front of an all black audience. It's like, nigga, what? You call raping bitches, guys? That's some of raping bitches, man. You got in front of an all white audience. I'm like, yeah, let's go rape some bitches. <laughs> real quick, fuck that. <laughs> you guys are cool, man. You guys are cool, but don't do that shit. Just, just jerk off. <laughs> it's a lot easier, man. You know, that feeling after you jerk off, you're like, what was I thinking? Like, oh, shit. You ever like, I don't know if anybody else jerk off with their phone or nothing, but like, you know, you got your you got your, your contacts, did you? Like, think about texting old bitches, because you're like, then you jerk off, like, I can't believe I almost text that hoe. <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> it's like your boss is full of just bad decisions, like this. <laughs> and you don't know it's full until you let it out, like, oh, I was about to fuck up. <laughs> oh, I was about to fuck my life up. I ain't about to go back down that road. We should do it like twice a day, man. In the morning and at night, just see home. They said a million day can be all right. Whatever. Anybody uh, listen to rap in here? Yeah. Uh, my dad don't like me listening to rap, man. He said he he say stuff like black people are the only people that degrade their women in their music. I'm like shut the fuck up. 
But that's true, man. You know, it's you know, black people we really the only people that degrade our women in our own music. But that's because everybody else do that shit in real life. Like, <laughs> like white people, you motherfuckers are terrible. Like, I be watching y'all porn. Y'all had no mercy for the pussy. Just, <laughs> just mean. Just sucking, fucking, sucking, fucking, fucking, suck my fucking cock, you bitch. Suck it, fuck it. not so in your face, it's kind of covert, it's not so over, you know. Like when you find it now, it's kind of funny, you can laugh at this shit. Like you haven't noticed anything marketed towards black people is, is, is in a fucking rap song? Yeah. Do you motherfuckers got TV? <laughs> Y'all never, <laughs> never seen these new McDonald's commercials, like how hip that ain't got? Like what just happened to regular and shit? Like I don't need, all, I don't need fucking Cassidy doing no McDonald's remix. I, I can read, motherfucker, this. <laughs> You know, just a regular McDonald's commercial will be fine, because the regular McDonald's commercials are fine. They come on, they make you want nuggets. Come on, nice and regular. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Right now, we're doing our 10 piece chicken McNuggets sale, all white meat. Also, watch it down on the cafe for Bop, 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 bop. I'm loving it. <laughs> That's it. These fucking black McDonald's commercials come on. Somebody else on a fucking basketball court somewhere. People come on holding their nuts. Niggas is beatboxing in the background. <laughs> just <laughs> Court, I'll have to give me a dick pig, chicken neck nugget. <laughs> and when I get thirsty, I like to watch it out with my country ass grandma sweet tea. <laughs> so when you get hungry, most of me, y'all tell me, come on down to McDonald's. Ba da ba 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 ba